What's up? My name is Mark and today I'm going to review the Hexgears X1 RGB low profile keyboard. So my brother-in-law recently uh, upgraded his Hexgears keyboard into a more uh, full-size Hexgear RGB keyboard. And I wanted to purchase uh, his old one and uh, I, I've been using it for two weeks and this is my review uh, of the Hexgear X1 uh, low profile RGB keyboard. This is the Hexgears X1 or RGB low profile keyboard. As you can see, it has a very, very good case. And what's inside is your uh, keyboard itself and your USB. So you, the USB cable uh, is pretty tough, it's pretty thick. Uh, it has USB-A for your computer and then USB-C for uh, the keyboard itself if you want it to be wired or a uh, Bluetooth connection. So here's the keyboard itself. Uh, very, very nice. So it's CNC machined aluminum case and has uh, uh, all around it. And at the back, it has hex gears on it, and it has two uh, flip stand. Uh, it's plastic. Uh, if you need to be, if you need it to be on, on an angle, and then it has on top, it has a USB C uh, for the wired connection and a power button, and that's it. So the keyboard itself is pretty small. So let's get a measuring tape. So it's around uh, 36 uh, centimeters or 14 inches and uh, around 13, in, uh, 13 centimeters, almost 13 centimeters. Uh, that's almost five inches. So if you compare it to a full-size keyboard, uh, let me get my, uh, this is my full-size Logitech keyboard, uh, it's pretty small. So uh, it's like removing the entire uh, numpad section. Uh, but instead of removing it, uh, what they did was uh, they moved uh, the numpad uh, on top of the num keys. Uh, the downside to it is that you don't have your vertical uh, enter key and then your home page down page up uh, and end keys are in your arrow keys okay and then it has a uh, kaihua chalk low uh, chalk low profile mechanical keys or mechanical switches uh, that's very very nice to type uh, there are red switches, which is the most quiet. There are brown, which is slightly louder. And then there are white switches, which are the loudest. So this one uh, has brown switches. So uh, here's a quick comparison in terms of sound. So uh, again, let's put, that, uh, put our old keyboard back here. So uh, here's what it sounds like. And here's what uh, a normal soft keyboard sounds like. Okay, so it's not the loudest since it's brown switches. Uh, if you want that uh, mechanical sound, uh, go for the white switches, which is uh, the loudest. So it has full RGB lighting and uh, backlight modes. So if you turn it on, let's turn it on. See, it has that uh, animation uh, startup, uh, booting startup device. Now, if you want to use this as a wired connection uh, and use this uh, cable, uh, it will last you uh, three months without charging. 
and if you want to use the RGB full lighting, it only takes you four hours before you need to plug it in. So this has 2400 mAh of battery. And then if you're on Bluetooth, you can connect it to four devices, uh, four Bluetooth devices. Uh, so uh, if you have a Bluetooth uh, version 3 point, uh, 3 point below, uh, it won't work. Uh, you won't be able to, uh, to find this device. So this is only compatible with Bluetooth 4.0 and up. So uh, make sure that your version of Bluetooth is uh, 4.x. So if you do have that, uh, you can connect up to four devices, uh, four Bluetooth devices, uh, program it uh, using uh, each of these buttons. Now the keys are similar to a laptop. If you can see, there is an FN key that was renamed to FUN to fun key. So that's what they call it. So if you want to access your media uh, buttons, you need to press your uh, fun key and then your media buttons. So if you're used to uh, using a laptop a key a keyboard then you're fine. Your learning curve would probably be uh, very fast but if you're used to, used to a full keyboard like me and uh, the transfer of the numpad is here uh, then there might be a slight learning curve. Now let's turn on the keyboard. If you turn it on there's a simple animation uh, of uh, white keys and then goes to full RGB. So if you plug it in and you don't turn it on as Bluetooth, it will just light up uh, the RGB. It won't have that uh, animation coming in. So uh, here's the full RGB feature. So it has a brightness uh, four levels. So you press fun and then your numpad minus or plus. So minus, it goes to dim and turn off. So once it's off, this is the first level of brightness, the second one, the third one, and the brightest. That's four. The keyboard has six uh, RGB lighting modes. So to turn it on, you need to press uh, fun, F2. Uh, it will turn it on, So as you can see. And then if you want to turn it off, you press fun, F2 again, and it's turned off. This is the first one. Uh, it's the wave, our RGB wave. It's going from uh, right uh, down to the left. If you want it reversed, you press fun, then tab. Then it will reverse the direction. It's now uh, going from left to right. Let's reverse it again. There we go. And then the second uh, RGB uh, lighting mode, let's press fun and space is the pulse. So for the pulse, uh, you can't really time it. Uh, it's just uh, pulsing for uh, for the same color. So in order to change the color, you need to press fun and the num8 uh, key. So right now it's red. And then if you press num and 8, now it's orange. Now it's yellow and it's green. Let's put it to brightness. And then the third one is pretty cool. Uh, it turns off everything, but once you press a key, it leaves that light on. So let's say, let's put it to color green. So if I type in, yeah. you can also do it in reverse. Uh, uh, fun, then press tab. And everything lights up, and what you press turns off. Okay, but I think this is much cooler. And then the fourth one is also a pulse, but it cycles through all the colors. So it's blue, uh, purple, uh, all of the colors. So the colors mainly are red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, blue, and purple. Now there is a white color, uh, but it uses the entire uh, all of the RGB colors, and it takes uh, most of the the battery uh, battery life, uh, and it's only uh, available in the programmable feature. 
Now, after the uh, RGB cycle, you have your uh, rainbow press. This is pretty cute. So if I press here, it sends out uh, rainbow colors towards uh, outwards. To, so I press a uh, number here or maybe here. So it sends uh, a very colorful uh, outwards direction of light. And then the last one uh, is the backlit uh, mode. So it just lights up uh, the entire keyboard with the color you uh, uh, with the color. So it's orange, uh, yellow, green. Now, uh, if you want to program it uh, the the color specifically, then you can do that. Uh, but unlike the rest of uh, the other uh, keyboards out there that has um, a software. Uh, partnered software that you can uh, change the colors here you need to change it manually in, uh, in the keyboard itself so you need to press uh, fun f1 uh, press it for three seconds and then uh, it will blink out uh, uh, the three lights here it will blink or your f1 will be pulsing so the reason why it's uh, colored this way is because uh, this is the one uh, the 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 lights that I program to. Okay, so in order, to, I have my numpad as green, uh, arrow keys as uh, purple, and then uh, when I play games, I have inventory, I have options, and then I have my map, and the rest are uh, disabled. So in order to program that, you need to press your F, uh, your fun button and your F1 uh, for three seconds. And once it's blinking, uh, the light's here and the F1 is pulsing, you need to change the color of your F1. So uh, fun number eight. So F1 changes. So let's say uh, we want it uh, blue. Uh, where's blue? Blue. Uh, after you F1 turns to blue, you press the keys that you want to be color blue. So it will uh, program that. And let's say, uh, remember when I said uh, the white color is for the programmable one? So let's go with white. So F1 is now white. And I want my numpads to be white. So I just press that. And my keypads so and then once you're done you just press fun f1 and it will remember uh, the light assignment and you press uh, let's say let's go back to uh, the wave okay so and you want to go back to your programmable let's say you want to play your game and you need that uh, RGB lighting you press fun and f1 it will go back to the to the programmed uh, setting so that's it for the quick walkthrough for the hex gears x1 uh, keyboard so again i've been using it for two weeks and uh, unfortunately it's not for me uh, it's a very good keyboard don't get me wrong it's very good uh, I, I like how it feels i like how i type in it uh, it's just that I use the full keyboard, I'm more into shortcuts, I I use it for work and as well as for gaming, and I use the numpad always, and including the home, uh, the home keys, the end keys, the page down, I use it for my shortcut keys. So uh, there's a little bit of a learning curve if you are uh, using uh, uh, the full keyboard, if you're used to full keyboard and you're not used to uh, a laptop sized keyboard. Uh, with the FN keys to get into the page up, page down, and the num keys. Uh, I specifically miss uh, the vertical enter stand, uh, enter key, uh, because I use that always whenever I use the numpad. So if you're used to a full keyboard, this might not be for you, or uh, it, but if you're willing to switch to a, a more sizable keyboard, a very smaller one, a compact one, and you don't really use this, uh, your, your numpad, then it's fine. It's it's really good keyboard. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going back to my old uh, soft keys keyboard. Uh, it's a full size one, and I had I have to look for uh, other lighting solutions. So that's it. Uh, see you in the next video, and don't forget to like and subscribe.